Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Hey, Rachel, how you doing? Just waiting for Facebook to gather an audience as usual. So I'm going to give that like a minute for one or two people to uh, uh, tune in. Hope everyone is well. Hope everyone is well. If you're just tuning in, go ahead and share the broadcast with somebody. Hello, Hannah, how you doing? If you are here, share the broadcast with somebody so that um, someone can join in tonight. Um, just want to have a, dis the, a discussion with you tonight on a um, something that I believe most of us uh, go through. Hello, Christopher, how you doing? Good to see you there. Um, something that most of us go through. As uh, Christians, uh, and not necessarily just Christians, um, most of us go through church hurt. And as a result of the church hurt, we carry around a lot of emotional baggages. We carry a lot of baggages. And as a result, the enemy uses uh, offense. The enemy uses uh, rejection. The enemy uses that hurt against us. So today I just wanted to have a uh, discussion with you, um, reference to church hurt and uh, emotional baggage. So if you are here, share the video with somebody, go ahead and share with somebody. And if you know somebody that has been hurt uh, 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 by church, um, go ahead, tag them in, share the message with them tag them so that they can tune into the message today uh so hello chrissy um bernadette hope you're all doing okay uh joe come how you doing so if you are here like i said share the broadcast with someone um we're going to discuss uh church hurt and emotional baggage today i did not make any notes um just going by the leading of the holy spirit so if you are here if you tune in in I share the broadcast with somebody. Wonderful, Brenda. Wonderful. Hey, Miss Sanders, how you doing? Good to see you. So today, I just wanted to discuss uh, something that I feel that was uh, uh, that is holding back uh, the body of Christ. Um, 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 this is something that we've been dealing with. Um, in the body of Christ for years and years and years and years and you find that most people they would rather they would rather uh, 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 stay home they would rather sit home and talk about uh, uh, the hurt or they will internalize and do not talk about the hurt and stay away from church and this is uh, uh, something that the enemy uses against uh, uh the body of christ so much hey bestie <laughs> finally 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 nika but um yes so you'll find that uh because of the uh you will find because of the church hurt um you'll find because of the church hurt most people uh stop coming to church um uh, you'll find that most people stop coming to church. Sorry, people. My apologies. Yeah, so you'll find because of church hurt, most people stop coming to our church. And this is what the enemy uh, 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 loves. This is what he likes. If he can get into the church and cause confusion, if he can get into the church and cause uh, the spirit of rejection to go forth, if he can go into the church and cause uh, 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 a riot, if he can cause anger to arise, if he can cause envy to arise, if he can cause jealousy to arise and cause uh, God's people to uh, 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 become so angry to the point or so full of offense by being 
offended by somebody else that they decide, you know what, it's better for me to be in the world than to be in church or, or it's better for me to just stay home and worship. And most people don't understand that uh, when you get to the point where you are so offended, when you get to the point where you are so hurt to the point where you say, you know what, I'm not coming to church anymore. I'm going to stay home. This is when the enemy begins to uh, 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 sow seeds of discord. This is the time when the enemy start to sow seeds in your mind, letting you know or whispering to you that, hey, no, you don't need to go to church. Um, 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 I am the church. And you'll find most people that stay home, they begin to use excuses like this. Hey, um, um, the church is not, uh, the building is not the church, but I am the church. And you'll find it's like, well, the same way somebody preaching to me when I go to church, I could turn on the TV and listen to somebody preach to me the same way. Or I could just listen to the radio and, and I could listen to a sermon online and not have to worry about uh, church members, not have to worry about uh, people talking about you, looking at you and so forth. So if the enemy can get you in a place where you're not coming to church, if the enemy could get you in a place where uh, uh, you refuse to assemble, uh, 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 he can back you up in a corner, so to speak, where you are alone with no encouragement from the saints, he will uh, 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 find it easier to distract you amen he will find it easier to take you away from uh, your progress he will find it easier uh, to distract you and, and, and cause you to stray away you will find um, most people who say okay um, um, they've been church hurt you will find that when they begin to stay away from church uh, eventually they begin to go back into the world eventually they begin to backslide why because they never dealt with the pain and, and, and they never want and they didn't want to go back to church and when you forsake the assembling of the saints, when you forsake, are uh, you coming together with other saints? Uh, uh, you're not getting that support. You're not getting that encouragement uh, that you would get with another saint or with along with other Christian people. So you're now home by yourself. And when you're feeling frustrated, when you're feeling tired, when you feel like throwing in the towel, there's nobody to encourage you. There's nobody to speak a rhema word into your spirit right then and there. When you get tired, when you get get uh, uh, frustrated and you say, you know what, I just can't do this anymore. There's nobody on the side of you cheering you on. When you turn on the TV, there's nothing, uh, 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 there's no one that can reach out to you and say, hey, listen, be encouraged. Uh, I went through it too. So uh, you're going to go through it. So when you uh, uh, go through um, church hurt and you decide that, hey, you know what, I'm going to stay home. Listen, that is a plan of the enemy because this is the time when the enemy uses, uh, this is the time the enemy uses to so seed of discord and, and and this is the time when he uses this is the time that he used to uh, uh plant seeds in your mind saying to you that hey listen uh, the people to the church, they always gossiping about you. They always talking about you. What's the sense of going to church? And you find when you forsake the assembling of the church, you do not have that support. Uh, uh, so when you are left home, you, you left home, you are left home to your own devices, to the, uh, uh, let me don't say your own devices, to the devices of the enemy. So if you are on the line tonight and you were hurt uh, 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 by someone in the church, you were, um, hurt by a leader. You was hurt by, uh, a uh, uh, pastor. You was hurt by someone in authority in church. If that is you tonight and you are on this line, come on and say hello. Um, 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 and 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 converse with me. This is not just a one way thing. Uh, this is a discussion where, as uh, you speak to me and I speak back to you, because we are here all to learn. And 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 I had an experience. I had many experiences of church hurt, but there was one in particular that I experienced because I gave so much, because I sacrificed so much, and because I dedicated so much. I I I I was crushed when I got hurt. I was crushed, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to leave the church. Amen. I wanted to leave the church. And, and, and I told God over and over for almost six months, I said, God, I want to leave the church. So I said, God, please allow me to leave the church. And God would say to me, no, I have you here for a purpose and I have you here for a reason. And, and I kept on crying out to God, man, listen here, if you all know pain, you all know what I'm talking about. And I keep on crying out to God. And I say, God, I want to leave the, I say, I want to leave 
believe God, I want to live. Hey, uh, Frederica, how you doing, darling? Hey, Carlton, uh, blessings to all of you. If you are on the line, share the video with somebody. Tonight, we're discussing church hurt and, and, and an emotional baggage. And I wanted to leave the church. And I keep on saying to God for uh, over six months, over six months, over going on to eight months, I keep on saying to the Lord, Father, I just want to leave. God, I just want to leave. Me not knowing at the time that God was breaking some things in me. Me not knowing at the time that God was showing me some things that he was saying to me, okay, I want you to see this and I want you to learn from this so that uh, when I put you into a position of leadership, you will not do the same thing. You will not make people feel the same way. So um, um, it was a learning experience. So although it was painful, although it broke me, it was a learning experience. And I've learned that uh, 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 church hurt it will break you, but at the same time, if you stay, uh, if you stay, uh, 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 if you stay committed to God, if you stay committed during the process of that breaking, if you stay committed to God during that time where you're hurt, He will take that hurt and then He will internalize that. He will fix that and then He will turn it into an experience. Amen. He will turn it into an experience for most of you on the line and for most of us that has experienced church hurt. Church hurt. We. We are called to be leaders. Amen. We are called to be leaders. And, and, and if you are called to be a leader, you will find that uh, in most churches, uh, uh, you will stick out like a sore thumb. You will stick out like a sore thumb. And for most people who are called to be leaders, you cannot just sit down and be, you know, you're, you can't just sit down and not do anything. You can't just sit down and not just be a part. You always want to be involved. You always, always want to help. So you find most of the the time that people who are called in leadership position, people who are called to be leaders, when you go to a church, you want to assist. You want to, uh, uh, okay, can I assist doing the usher? Can I assist you all with the cooking? Can I assist you all in the kitchen? Uh, uh, y'all, Can I assist with the armor bearing? You always want to find something to do. Why? Because God placed it in you to be a leader and not a follower. So you find this type of person will uh, 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 you they'll, 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 they'll tend to be hurt more more. And when I say they uh, hurt more because you give more, you sacrifice more and, and, and you trust more. And, and, and because you sacrifice so much when you are hurt and not expecting it, it hurts you so much more. Amen. I don't know if you understand exactly what I'm saying to you, but because you sacrifice more, because you give so much when you are hurt, you uh, 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 it, it cuts you so deeply because you make such a sacrifice. Amen. So, 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 because you are a leader, you will find most of the time that you will experience church, church hurt. And you will experience church hurt in so many different ways. And one of the ways that you can experience church hurt is uh, as a leader, there are some gifts that God are, is developing in you. There are some gifts that are undeniable. There are some gifts in you that uh, you just can't hide no matter what you do. You just can't hide the gifts. And you will find that uh, in most uh, um, ministries, Trees, when the leader themselves have been church hurt, when the leader themselves have been hurt and, 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 and they then did not take the time to heal, they did not take the time to nurse the wound, they did not take time to uh, 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 say put some alcohol on that cut and stitch it up and then put a band-aid over it, they did not take the time to do that. So now they arise to a place of leadership and now that they are in a place of leadership, the scene hurt that they felt, the same hurt that uh, somebody else inflicted on them, they are now inflicting it on other people. Some of them unknowingly, but 80% uh, 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 of them knowingly, they are inflicting the same hurt, the same pain that they receive uh, 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 from someone else on their own uh, followers or on their own members. So you will find that uh, because you were hurt or because you experienced hurt and you uh, uh, did not deal with it, you did not deal with the, uh, 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 the pain, you did not deal with the hurt, you did 
did not deal with the rejection. You did not deal with the no. You did not deal with a, you're not ready yet. You did not deal with a, go sit in the back because you're not supposed to be in the front. You did not deal with the uh, 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 rejection. You did not deal with the pain. You did not deal with any of it. And because you did not deal with any of it, you find yourself now leaving a church. And when you leave a church now, you say, okay, you know what? I'm ready. I want to go and start my own ministry or I want to uh, 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 go ahead and do what it is that the Lord called me to do. I'm not, listen to me, even though you are hurt, that does not stop what God wants to do in your life. If you have leadership in you, no matter if you are hurt, if God call you to be a prophet, then that's who you are. You cannot stop it. Uh, 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 if God call you to be a pastor, no matter if you are hurt, that's who he called you to be. But because he called you to be a pastor does not mean that you're supposed to go into pastorship, does not mean you're supposed to go into leadership without dealing with your past emotions, your past baggages, and your past failures and your past uh, hurt and your past pain. Uh, this is the reason why you find now that there is so much manipulation in the church. My God, listen, yeah, I didn't want to touch this, but hey, we got to touch this. And I, I come back to that. Somebody remind me, if you notice I forget, and I got to come back and touch on manipulation. But you will find that most uh, leaders, they did not take the time to deal with the pain. They did not take the time to deal with the hurt. They left uh, uh, one ministry because they was hurt. They left one ministry because somebody tell them they wasn't good enough or somebody tell them they wasn't ready and they left. They did not take the time to mature. They did not take the time necessary to sit down and be covered and be uh, taught what it is to be a leader. They step out prematurely and, 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 and they step out in pain and they step out in uh, 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 rejection and they step out in hurt and when and you will find that when you step out in hurt although God has called you to be a pastor although God has called you to be a leader although God has called you to be a prophet although God has called you to be a minister uh, you are still hurt you are still broken you are still uh, rejected you still feel pain but yet you are in a leadership position what do you do when you find yourself in a leadership position but yet you are still broken whatever it is that you are carrying on the inside whatever it is that you are feeling on the inside whatever it is that you decide that you wanted to stuff way down deep inside and not deal with it whatever it is that you hid on the inside of you and figure okay it's not bothering me anymore 10 years done gone past five years done gone past three years done gone past i don't feel any hurt from it anymore the mere fact that you did not deal with it now that you are in a leadership position you are now leading people you are now uh, you have followers and you have members now the same hurt and the same rejection that you did not deal with you are now projecting you are now uh, 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 that is what you are now uh, 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 given out to your members and to your following so you will find now that a church or a ministry that has a leader that was uh, 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 hurt uh, 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 you will find that most of the people in that church, let me see a best way that I can explain this. Most of the followers in that church will gravitate to that person and to that hurt side of the person, that a uh, uh, painful side of the person, the rejected side of the person. So you will find in most ministries where there is a leader that has been hurt, you will find that most of the people that follow, follow that leader has been hurt or rejected people also. So, 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 so you will find, uh, 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 whatever it is that is in that leader's heart, that is what he is uh, uh, projecting. That is what is coming out. So if you never dealt with the situation, you never dealt with the hurt, you never dealt with uh, the rejection, you never dealt with it. You're now a leader. You are now projecting that same hurt to people. Amen. You are now projecting. You are now giving out. You are now signaling. You are now uh, releasing that same hurt on people because you did not take the time to heal. You did not take the time to fix it. So this is the reason why you find in most ministries you get church hurt. Why do you get church hurt? Because the leader or the person in leadership position are people who are hurt themselves that never took the time to heal from certain situations. You will 
find that you go to a church and there's a lady in the church. You just reach to the church and she has been cheated on uh, uh, for a couple of years and, and, and she is now in the church and she's saying, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm all fine. I'm not hurting anymore. And in her mind, she's fine because she don't feel the pain of it anymore. She don't physically feel the pain of that cheating anymore or that affair anymore. So she feel like she's fine. Amen. And, and, and when she's, um, 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 in church and she sees you and you're dating someone and it look promising. She'll come to you. Oh, all men are dog. You shouldn't, you, you, you shouldn't even be going with him because I know who you, he was going with the last time and he cheated on her. I need to mind you. The poor man ain't never do none of the things that this woman's saying, you know, ain't never did none of that. But the mere fact that she has already been hurt, she sees somebody else uh, in a relationship and it seemed promising that same hurt that she felt she is now trying to project that onto somebody else mind you the relationship is innocent the person is innocent and they mean you well but because they are hurt and they did not deal with the problem they are projecting or they are uh, are saying to you listen yeah, that ain't gonna work because this man is a cheater you shouldn't even get involved in that why because they did not deal with their own emotional baggage the, 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 the hurt that they felt the pain that they felt the rejection that they felt uh they did not deal with it so you find now that they projecting the same hurt and 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 the same pain on people and this is where you find manipulation amen this is where you find the spirit of manipulation in church and 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 how does this come about this come about from the same church hurt this this church hurt is like uh, it's like a tree. The tree might be the top of the tree might be growing green and blossoming, blossoming, and and you might say, boy, this tree look good and it's lush and it's green and it look healthy. Uh, 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 but the root of it may not be healthy, amen. But the root may not may 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 be uh, 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 infected with something. So therefore, when that same tree bear fruits and and then you take a bite of that same tree and and take a bite of that same fruit and the fruit seem to be sour. It don't taste good or you know and you're trying to figure out man this tree looks so good why is it that the the the, the fruits so sour why is it that the uh uh, uh uh fruits look like you know they look good on the outside but on the inside they taste bad why because the tree itself was infected although it looked good on the outside it is infected so therefore the fruits that is coming from the tree is not good and you'll find that in many ministries people that are not healed from past hurt and from past baggage they carry uh, 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 these baggages of hurt. They carry these baggages of pain, and 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 and, and they start to uh, 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 seep out. It's like when you when somebody cut you and the blood start to drain out. They are wounded people are like people who are cut all over. They have like little slits of cut, and they drain it out. Little you know rejection. Uh, they bleeding out rejection. They bleeding out hurt. They bleeding out hate. They bleeding out jealousy. They bleeding out uh, envy. They bleeding out all sorts of things. Things, uh, 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 out of them and, and to them they may not even realize that they are bleeding out they may not even realize that they are hurt and therefore they are hurting other people and and, and so you will find that a person or a leader that has already been uh, hurt because they experienced the hurt or um, um, they did not take the time to heal or because they was in a ministry and they was uh, hurt and they left without dealing with the problem. They left without dealing with the situation and they went out prematurely and they started their own ministry or they started their own thing. And then you find now they started getting members and the same thing that happened in their life, the same hurt that they received. Uh, 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 the, the members now start are uh, feeling the same thing. Why? Because you did not sit down under your covering. You did not sit down and deal with the problem. So now that you have your follower followers, your followers doing the same thing that you did to your leader. Man, listen here. This is this is so serious, and this is something that we got to be careful of. This is something that we really got to be careful of. And let me see if I could break this down exactly how I want to bring it across to you, so it doesn't seem too confusing. If you are a uh, a, a member in a church, a pastor said something to you, and it offended you, 
and 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 because of that offense you decide oh you know what um, um i'm going to leave the church so you left the church another say five years you now go and start your own ministry god called you to leadership and you say okay do I, I hear the calling of the lord and i'm going to heed the calling of the lord and now you go into our uh, uh, leadership the same thing that you did to your leader leader which is you left being offended, you left uh, not selling things, you left not uh, uh, taking care of all hurts and all uh, uh, rejection and pain and so forth. The same thing you did to your leader is the same thing your member is now going to do with you. And how are you going to deal with it? You won't even know how to deal with it because you did not sit long enough under your leader to learn how to deal with the situation. Yes, you was hurt. Yes, you were offended, but you did not take the time to heal from that offense you did not take the time to heal from that hurt so therefore now when you start your own ministry your uh, uh, members will start to do the same thing to you you were not faithful to a leader you were not uh, 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 faithful to your pastor yes they hurt you yes they offended you but God called you to still be faithful because they have leadership over you amen because uh, uh, he placed you there to be shepherded but although that uh, shepherd hurt you you were still supposed to remain being faithful because that's where God placed you. Now that's if God, that's where God placed you now. This is where God placed you. So you were supposed to still remain faithful until until God releases you. So now you are, are, are experiencing all kind of uh, hurt. You experiences all kind of uh, uh, rejection from your own members. So now you resort to manipulation. Amen. You resort now to manipulation. You resort to now telling people, oh, you cannot go to Pastor Walker Church because uh, they practicing witchcraft down there. Oh, you ain't supposed to be going to all kind of churches because uh, you can pick up all type of spirits. Oh, you ain't supposed to visit this place. You're not supposed to visit that place because you only can pick up spirits and then I got to come and deal with it. All of that is manipulation. So now the members in your church scared to go to another ministry to even visit another pastor why? Because uh, are you telling them? Because they, if they go to another church, uh, are they picking up spirits? All of that is manipulation. So now you resort to manipulation because the root of it is the hurt that you never dealt with. And so now you are, uh, 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 you leading a church. Uh, by manipulation, you you have these people and you have people in fear now to go or to leave the ministry. So they feel like, OK, this is the only place for me now or this is where I have to stay uh, because I don't want to go and con contaminate my spirit. I don't want to go and, 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 and you know. Uh, 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 bring in all type of spirits you know what I mean and it's so it is so wrong it is so wrong and because of this you find that plenty of people are hurt and they are leaving churches and they are out in the, on the in the bars they are out doing all kind of foolishness why because uh the leaders the people in leadership position are are, are hurt they never dealt, dealt with their baggage. They never dealt with their pain. So as a result, they start to hurt their and manipulate their own members. Listen here. Uh, church hurt is one of the most painful things to deal with. It is one of the most painful things to deal with because uh, when you get hurt, it, it it's almost as if uh, because when you join a ministry, it's almost like you join a family. It's almost like a family. And, and, and when you are hurt, that thing cut, that hurt, it hurts bad. And because it hurt, the only thing you want to do now is run for cover. The only thing you want to do now is protect yourself from being hurt again. And you'll find that's the reason why most people say, you know what? I'm not, I'm just not going to go to church anymore. I'm not going to go to church anymore. I'm just going to stay home and watch church on TV. Or I'm just going to stay home and just watch a stream, stream church on uh, uh, the internet. And you'll find that uh, because of it, most people fall away. Amen. Most people fall away. And then uh, 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 they carry the baggage from uh, the hurt. They carry a whole heap of baggages and therefore it causes them not to be able to go to their next uh, season in their life and be fruitful in the next season of their lives because you will find that 
because you carry in so much baggage, because you're so weighed down carrying so much baggage that when you get to the next season in your life, you're so tired, you're so drained that you can't even move. You can't even accept what it is that God trying to give you. You can't even accept the blessings that God have for you in the next season of your life. Why? Because you're so weighed down carrying uh, baggages from the past, baggages from uh, a past relationship, baggages from past uh, hurt from uh, people in church, uh, baggages from rejection, baggages from a broken heart. You carry in so much baggage that you cannot even receive the blessing that God have for you in the next uh, 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 season of your life. So I just wanted to come on and talk to you for a brief moment. And I just wanted to share with you uh, from my experiences. And I just wanted to have a discussion with you to let you know that uh, uh, if you have been ch hurt by church folk, if you have experienced church hurt, do not allow the enemy to play with your mind. Do not allow the enemy to play with your mind where he says to you, it is better to stay home than to go around church people. The Bible, somewhere in the Bible, it says uh, something about uh, 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 do not forsake the assembling of the uh, saints. The reason why uh, 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 it says that is because uh, we need the saints in order to encourage and to uplift each other. We need saints in order to edify each other. When you hear somebody else's testimony of how they were going through and then they made it, that will encourage you. But when you uh, decide you want to stay home, there's no one to encourage you when you feel down. There's no one to pick you up when you fall down. So as a result, you will find, you will find that you start to backslide or you just altogether just quit and say, you know what, I'm not going to church and you go back into the world and this is something that uh, I, I, I have seen with my own two eyes over and over again. People that have been hurt by pastors, been hurt by leaders, been hurt by ushers, been hurt by uh, people in ministry, and they never took the time to deal with the wounds. They never took time to deal with the hurt. And as a result, uh, 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 they start projecting that same pain on other people. And that is the worst place, that's the worst position to find yourself in where where you so hurt that you start projecting that same hurt on other people. If you ever hear the saying, hurt people, hurt people. And that is so true. It is so true. When you are hurt and you don't deal with your hurt, you don't deal with that the root of the problem, all you can do is hurt other people unknowingly or knowingly because you want people to feel that same hurt that you feel and you, and you may not even be doing it uh, 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 consciously it may be something that you do unconsciously but 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 the same hurt the same deep down pain that you feel on the inside you want somebody else to feel that same pain amen so 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 now what we need to do is we need to deal uh with um uh the pain that we uh experience from church hurt we need to deal with the pain it's just like uh, i i explained this to you many times before it's just like getting a cut when you get a cut you cannot just leave it alone let that bleed and just leave it alone because if you just leave it alone that cut or that wound will get infected and when it get infected it will cause a bigger problem amen than the first problem so 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 what you want to do is you want to get yourself some alcohol you want to get yourself some peroxide you want to get yourself some 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 um, um, um antibiotics you want to clean that one up you want to if um get that stitch up and then you want to get some band-aid and then you want to put some band-aid over that and then you want to nurse that womb until it uh, uh, uh heals this is the same thing that we got to do when we are hurt this is the same thing we got to do when our heart is broken this is the same thing we got to do when we are feeling rejected when we have been rejected when we've been pushed to the side when we've been told that we are no good when we've been told that we are not enough when we have been told that hey listen you're not for the front you're for the back when you have been told that you are not good enough when you have been told that uh, 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 listen 
Uh, you don't need to be to the front of the line. Go to the back of the line. When you have been through all of this hurt, you need to then now take the time that is necessary uh, to, to, to begin to heal that wound, to begin to nurse that wound until you heal from that wound. And then when you heal from that wound, you can then now proceed into what it is that God has been calling you to do. And you will find that if you take the time to heal, if you take the time to get rid of the emotional baggages, if you take the time to get Get rid of all these things. You'll find that you will make for a better leader. You will make for a better a uh, 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 leader because now you won't be projecting hurt on people, but you'll be coming from a place of love. You'll be coming from a place of sympathy. You'll be coming from a place of pureness. You'll be coming from a place of holiness and righteousness. Why? Because you have dealt with the pain. You've dealt with the hurt. You've dealt with the anger. You've de dealt with the envy. You dealt with the jealousy and everything else that was attaching yes attaching itself to you because of her everything that was attaching itself to you when you begin to take time and heal uh, 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 that uh, situation, you'll find that those things start to dissipate, those things start to fall away, and you'll make for a better leader. So for those of you uh, that God has called to leadership position, for those of you that God has called as evangelists, for those of you that God has called as prophets, for those of you that God has called as intercessors, for those of you that God called uh, to be uh, a watchman, uh, for those of you that God has called in any com um, capacity, any any, any any office that God has called you in, make sure that you deal with the root cause of all the problem. Make sure you deal with the root cause of the problem. Make sure you seek. Make sure you ask God what it is in you that it, it that is causing you to be angry all the time. What is it in you that uh, 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 that needs to be broken? What is it in you that you're still holding on? Uh, 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 and, and when he began to show you, begin to take the time that is necessary to nurse the wound. Take the time that is necessary to uh, uh to begin to heal to begin to uh reflect and see you know what uh I, I think I was um 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 projecting hurt on the people that was uh following me so let me just take some time uh that is necessary to begin to heal the wound and then after I heal the wound I can now return as a whole person when you are rejected when you are hurt when you've been talked about when you've been gossiped about when you've been lied on when you've been uh, uh manipulated all of this just build more hurt and every time you something else happen it just you know goes on top of each other and it just you know keep on compiling and keep on compiling and before you know it you just a walking time bond time bomb amen you're walking uh, time bomb, bomb because you've been hurting for so long and you've been internalizing it and you've been keeping it in and you'll find that you're a walking time bomb because you never took the time to release it. You never took the time to deal with the problem. You never took the time to uh, uh, face it head on and deal with the situation. So today I just wanted to come on this afternoon and have a chat with you reference to being hurt in church, reference to being overlooked in church, reference to uh, uh, being mistreated, reference to being pushed in the back, reference to uh, being told that you're not ready, even when you know you are ready. You know what I mean? So, so I just wanted to come in and have a discussion with you and let you know and encourage you to let you know that yes, uh, you've been hurt, but you need to take the time to deal with it in order for you to move on, in order for you not to repeat the cycle uh, 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 of the hurt, in order for you not to repeat the cycle of the abuse, in order for you not to repeat the cycle of uh, uh, misuse, and, 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 and in order for you not to uh, uh, repeat the cycle of rejection, in order for you not to repeat the cycle of manipulation and, and, and fear, you need to now deal with the problem get rid of the problem and once you have dealt with the problem you'll find that you uh, can now lead better you can now uh, shepherd better because now you won't be projecting the hurt you won't be protect projecting uh, the rejection you won't be projecting everything uh, that was inside of you that is not of God amen so today I pray that this was a blessing to you and if it was a blessing to you share the video with somebody uh, because it is my belief that uh, 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 many of us uh, stay home, many of us backslide because we've been hurt by someone 
in church. Amen. You will find for most people that was in church and they left, they left because they was hurt by someone and that person never apologized or, or, or they never took the time to deal with it. And, and, and let me tell you one thing now, when you see somebody in church hurt you, most of, most of the time, uh, you won't get an apology. So most of the time you have to go to God for yourself and you need to deal with it for yourself. Amen. You need to allow God to take those things out, to take the hurt out, to take everything that you are feeling out. Because uh, 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 about 85% of the time when you are hurt by someone in church, you ain't going to get an apology from that person who hurt you. You're not going to get an apology from that person who hurt you. I'm telling you, most of the time, these people who you see walking around, you're always speaking in tongues and they nose always up in the air and they always got a word from God. Most of the time when they hurt you, when God is telling them to come and apologize to you, they will not come and apologize to you. So most of the time, you have to find the strength within yourself to move on and to, 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 to dig deep inside of you and say, you know what? I was hurt. Um, um, let me, let me, um, 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 find a way to deal with my hurt, uh, by myself. You know what I mean? Because if you're looking for a sorry, sweetheart, you ain't gonna get that. You ain't gonna get that. I telling you, you're not going to get it. Most of the time, the spirit of the Lord would speak to that person and tell them to apologize, but they won't come because of pride, which is another thing that God hates that is happening in the church right now. So much pride that uh, 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 the leader, the usher, or the armor bearer, or, or, you know, somebody in church, the sister, the brother, somebody would offend you. They know they offend you, and they would not come and apologize. They will not come and they will not apologize. So sometime it is up to you as the Christian to try to say, you know what? Let me try to be a little bit more mature. Let me try to, 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 to deal with the uh, hurt and let me be the one to go and apologize. And listen here. I know some of y'all experienced this where uh, somebody hurt you, but God tell you to go and apologize. I know some. Man, listen, if you experienced that, let me know if you experienced that before. Say me. If you were hurt by somebody else in church. And, 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 and it doesn't necessarily have to be church. You know, it could be work. It could be, um, um, it could be, uh, uh, uh on um um it could be on the it could be anywhere in the grocery store it could be anywhere but god told you to go and apologize to the person who hurt you who experienced that before because i know i'm not the only person who experienced that before listen here i could recall god saying to me listen here i need you to go and apologize to this person man listen here i lay down on my bed i suck my teeth so hard i say lord listen here if this was the i you could just strike me down right now because i i did not want to do it i'm like but they do me wrong how is it now god that you want me to go and apologize to somebody who did me wrong why should i now turn around and ask somebody for forgiveness and they did me wrong how does this thing work i don't understand that and for the longest i'm telling you for the longest i could not understand it and the lord kept on telling me i need you to go and apologize i need you to go and apologize and i believe one time i was on in in, in prayer on the beach right on xanadu beach and and, and the, the prophet of the lord uh 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 the prophet has said to me that uh you're dealing with a situation and you need to forgive. And, and I, I think she said some, something along that line. She said, forgiveness is not for the person, but the forgiveness is for you. And I was like, really? And I still was, you know, I had my hand crossed, crossed my chest. And I'm like, God, I, 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 I can't. I really can't. And when she said that, I was like, wow, the forgiveness or um, that you are, uh, the forgiveness is not for the person, but forgiveness is for you. It will free you. It will set you free. It will uh, deliver you. It will break some chains from off of you. Because most of the time we carry around offense, the spirit of offense. Most of the time we carry around the spirit of rejection. Most of the time we carry around the, the spirit of rejection. We carry around the spirit of uh, 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 fear. And we carry around and be angry uh, um, with this person. 
and the person don't even care. They do not even care. Listen here. They do not care half of the time or they just going about their life. And every time you see them, they on the other side of the road and, you know, they won't even say hello. They going about their life. But yet you stress out every time you see this person. Why? Because you've been offended and you've been hurt. Listen here. It's time for us now to deal with the hurt. It is now time for us to deal with the spirit of offense. It is now time for us to get rid of uh, all of the things that we over the years been holding in. Uh, uh, it's time for us now to go in the closet of our heart, take out some stuff so that we can allow God uh, uh, to clean us up. It is now time for us to deal with hurt, deal with pain, deal with all of the things that uh, hurt us in the past. All of the baggages and all of them are labeled. You have a label of rejection. You have a label of pain. You have a label of miscarriage. You have a label of uh, abortion. You have a label of uh, cheating you have a label of um 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 unfaithfulness you have a, a a package that is called um 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 lying you call you have a package that is called um 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 what else um um broken heart you have packages of of hurt um, 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 and you carrying all these things. You have fifty bags that you carry in and all of them is pain. Guess what? After a while you can get tired carrying all of that you can get On the inside, but on the inside, you are slowly dying. On the inside, you are slowly dying because you are so hurt and you are so full of uh, rejection. You are so full of uh, 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 anger and, 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 and all these things and it start to weigh you down. So on the outside, you look good, but on the inside, you're dying. So, so, so people of God, uh, uh, this is something that the Lord... Uh, rest in my spirit this morning when I got up this morning and I that we experience I think I get a, a connection back sorry about that people of God but um because of all the hurt that you experience in your life you 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 look good on the inside but on the inside you are really dying so 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 you are now just walking around being uh spiritually dead so what you need to do now is to 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 good night with lane how you doing darling um so what you need to do now is to go before the altar lay it all before god amen you need we need to now go before the altar and lay all of this down before god uh, uh, if we do not, it is going to ruin us. If we do not, we're now going to be in leadership. And like I said earlier, because you were hurt does not mean that you don't have a call on your life. Because you were hurt does not mean that you, does, you do not have a call on your life. Uh, because somebody uh, told you it wasn't good enough, that don't stop you from being a prophet or a prophetess. Because somebody tell you that uh, 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 get out the church, that does not mean that you, you were not called to be a pastor or you was not called to be an apostle. Uh, uh, you still was called to you still are called to be a leader. But 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 the mere fact that you were hurt and you never dealt with it, now that you are a pastor, now that you're an apostle, now that you're a minister, that same hurt that you felt uh, uh, from somebody else you are going to project onto somebody else so in order for us to to cut the cycle in order for us not to project the same hurt that we uh, experience onto other people we need to now deal with the situation so this is the time now where we need to come before the altar and we need to lay it down before God we need to uh, 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 lay it down as a sacrifice now before God we need to come before God and say hello uh, and say uh, uh, Lord, this is me. I'm coming before you. Uh, I, I was hurt in the past. Uh, sister so-and-so hurt me. And I, I just want to come before you now, Lord, and ask you for forgiveness. And you may find that God tells you, okay, now I need you to go and apologize to sister so-and-so. Or I need you to go and ask so -and sister so-and-so for forgiveness. In most cases, you'll find that's what the Spirit of the Lord tells you to do. Uh, uh, it is not... Uh, to benefit the person, but it is to benefit you. Amen. It is to benefit you, especially if God call you uh, in a, a leadership position. If God call you to, to a leadership position, you need to now go and deal with the spirit of offense. You need to now go and deal with uh, people who hurt you in the past. You need to deal with a uh, situation that you, you so-called say, okay, I deal with it, but you know you really didn't deal with it. 
it's time to go and deal with those situations because you cannot go into leadership. You cannot go into ministry being broken and being uh, 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 incomplete and, 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 and basically uh, halfway done destroyed. And then now you want to go and say that you're leading people. How you can lead people if you are broken? Amen. How are you going to lead people if you are broken? Whatever it is that you have on the inside, whatever it is that is in your heart, that is what you're going to project. That is what you're going to give to the people. So uh, 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 we do not want broken leaders. We do not want uh, uh, hurt leaders. We want whole leaders. We want uh, righteous leaders. We want leaders that is uh, after God's own heart. Amen. And, and, and the only way to do that is to now go and deal with the baggages, go and, and get rid of the baggages, heal the wounds, heal the cuts so that now you can now speak or you can minister from a place of wholeness and not a place of brokenness. Amen. Let me say that for somebody again. Uh, you need to deal with the uh, hurt. You need to deal with the rejection. You need to deal with the pain so that when you get in a place of leadership that you can um, um, minister to the people from a place of wholeness and not a place of brokenness. Amen. You want to minister to people from a place of wholeness and not brokenness. Amen. So, so in order for you to get to a place of wholeness, you need to now get rid of all of the hurt, get rid of all of the emotional baggage, get rid of all of the things, even the scars that they leave. You need to now deal with it. You now need to get rid of those things that have hurt you in the past. It's so much things that we did and it doesn't only have to, it doesn't only um, 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 mean that you were hurt by church people. It could have been something that you did your own self. It could have been something that you did that caused you to be so hurt and traumatized that, 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 that you feel like, you know what? I just can't go to church no more. I just can't do it no more. You might have say, okay, I slept last night and, and I slept with Tom or I slept with Mary. And therefore you saying, okay, I ain't going to church no more because I made a mistake. No, sir. No, ma'am. Fall down on your knees. Ask God to forgive you and go right back to church and deal with your situation. Amen. Deal with your situation. Do not let uh, 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 the spirit of offense, do not let the, uh, the spirit of trauma cause you uh, uh, not to go into the place of prosperity or into the place of blessing that God has for you uh, on the other side. Amen. Do not cause uh, 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 trauma and, 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 and the spirit of, of rejection to cause you to lose out. Amen. Do not allow it to cause you to lose out. You may say, okay, um, um, miss, I understand what you're saying. I know you say, listen, if I sleep with homeboy last night, I could ask God to forgive me and say, listen, God, um, um, I have a problem. Help me with my situation. Um, forgive me and I'm not going to do it again. And you fall, you fall back and you get back up. Miss, I understand that. But what about me who, who slip up the other day and I end up pregnant and I went and I had an abortion. What do I do now? Mom, listen here. You're not the first and you definitely ain't going to be the last person who did it. You're not the first and you definitely ain't going to be the last person to do it. Uh, 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 when you fall down, do not use that as an excuse to go back into the world. Amen. If you fall down and you buck your head, you roll over in the dirt and you come up with the dust all over you, do not use that as excuse to stay in the dirt. This is what I'm trying to say to you. Do not use your um, um, your past mistakes as a, a reason or as an excuse to stay wallowing in the dirt. Amen. Do not use your past mistakes uh, as excuse to keep you from entering the house of God. Amen. Because God has called you for a greater purpose. God has called you. Uh, 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 in a, uh, he has called you into a place of leadership. He has called you to do much more in the ministry. So do not let or do not allow uh, your past mistakes or the things that you've done in your past to stop you uh, 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 from uh, uh, going into ministry to stop you from uh, doing what it is that you do in church. If you usher in church and you made a mistake, God forgive me, move on, get up. We allow people in church to dictate to us too much. We allow people uh, in church to tell us, oh, 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 you did this, so you can't come to church, you can't serve, and you can't this, and you can't that. Listen, the devil is a liar. 
the only person who I know have a heaven or a hell to put you in is God. That's the only person who could tell you uh, where you going. So that's the only person who can uh, judge you. So, 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 so I want to say to you, uh, you may make a mistake. Do not uh, allow it to cripple you. Do not allow it to hold you back. Uh, do not allow it to become another baggage that you piled on to the previous baggage that you have been carrying. But but instead, uh, 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 heal from it, uh, uh, move on from it, and learn from it, and continue to move on in faith. Amen? Continue to move on in faith. So I pray that this was a blessing to you. I pray that uh, this not only just encourage you, but it uh, heal and it begin the process of healing in you. Amen. That it begin the process of healing in you. It won't be easy. It won't happen in just one day. But I pray that this has been uh, the beginning of healing for you. It has begun the healing process uh, for you. If you have been hurt, if you've been mistreated, if you've been used, if you've been used by anyone in ministry and you've experienced church hurt, do not use that as an excuse to go back into the world. Do not use that as an excuse to stay out of church. Amen. Do not forsake the assembling of the saints. Amen. Because we are here to edify each other. We are here to encourage each, each other. We are here to uplift each other. This is the reason why the Bible says do not forsake the assembling of the church. So I pray that this was a blessing to you. Share the video with somebody. It was so good to see all of you tonight. Uh, thank you for giving me uh, a, a, a few minutes out of your uh, time. I know some of you are very busy. It was very good to see uh, most of you. And, 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 I have a testimony. I have a testimony. I have a testimony. This is one reason why you should not stay from church also. You shouldn't stay from church because the testimony of others help you to overcome. Amen. The testimony of others helps you to overcome. I have a testimony. Um, um, as you know, uh, during the first week of February, um, um, God uh, placed it on my heart to hold a seven day of prayer and revival right here on Facebook Live. And during um, the prayer and revival on Facebook um, um, Live, um, the Lord declared that February, which is my birth month, February is a month of newness and that he was going to make everything new. And he declared some scriptures in our uh, hearing and, and most of it, all of it actually had to do with uh, uh, newness. And I'm like, God, what you saying? You saying that you can give us everything new or you can restore. And he, he was very specific when he said, I'm about to make everything new. So he declared February as a month of newness. And guess what? I um I took some um exams. I took some um, exams. I think it was in 2012 or 2013. Uh, 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 and um when I took the the exams, one year gone past, two year gone, two years gone past. And I'm like, why we ain't getting the results? Why we ain't getting the results? Listen here, I want to tell you today that today the results that was held up from 2012. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, all the results that has been holed up for the past four to five years, or that's six years, eh? probably six years, the result that has been holed up has been released today. You all hear me? The result that has been held up for the past five to six years has been released. And guess what? I passed all of my exams. Amen. So when God says that he is, uh, 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 he, uh, when God says that he is about to make all things new, man, listen, believe God when he says that he's going to make everything new. You hear me? Believe God when he says that he's going to make everything new. So listen here, when God said that February is a month of newness, not only I was excited because it was my birthday, but I was excited because God declared that our February is a month of newness. And so I woke up every morning expecting something good. I wake up every morning expecting a miracle. I woke up every 
every morning expecting something new. And listen here, the Lord has not disappointed me as yet. Listen to me. The Lord has not disappointed me as yet. And, and I am so excited. I am so happy. I am so elated because uh, 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 based on what he's been saying to me, based on what I, uh, uh, other people have been prophesying to me in just a couple of days, just a couple of days, a man of God prophesied to me. Listen here, I'm seeing it come to pass and it coming to pass just like that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, people. So I'm saying to you that when the Lord speaks a word, believe his word, stand on his word. Hello, um, Nehemiah. Good to see you, sir. Um, stand on his word because the 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 the, the, the Lord places his word. Uh, he places his words above him himself. So that means his word, he valued that more. He, uh, he is not a man that he could lie. So when he say he's going to do something, believe me, he's going to do it. When God said that he is going to do something, listen here, I don't doubt I don't, I don't trip old. Sometimes you might get a little weary and say, God, it's taking a little long, you know, it's taking a little long. But the word of the Lord will surely come to pass in our life. So like I said, I was very excited when the Lord said to me uh, during the prayer and revival, the beginning of the month, that February is a month of newness. And, 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 and I have been seeing it. I have been seeing it. So I was excited today when I saw the results of the exams and I noticed that I passed all of the exams. Times. When I say God is good, he is good. God does things strategically. He places you in, 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 uh, I don't even know how to put it. He just, it's like when you're playing chess and you put all the pieces in the right area in order for you to win the game. This is what God does. He places you in the right area areas he places you in the right positions just uh, right before a door open he places you right before that door open listen here i stand on the word of god so i am so excited uh, about what the lord is doing I'm, I'm 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 excited to see what it is that the future hold not only in my life but in your life because the lord has declared a lot of things over your life those of you that are watching me i know the lord has declared some stuff uh, most of you that was following me on the seven day prayer and fast the lord made some declarations over our life and listen here i I'm excited to know what the Lord is about to do. Some people have already been uh, 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 set free. Some people have been healed. Some people have been delivered. Some people are uh, based on um, um, the prayer and revival. Uh, people, checks have been re released. Listen here, checks has been uh, released to people who that have been um, holed up for years. One lady in particular, her check was holed up for 11 years and the Lord said to her that, 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 that this is a month of newness and to sit back and watch him listen here and god released that check this month you hear me god released that check this month and he not only released the check this month he uh, uh, uh gave her a brand new car so when god say he's going to do something then he is surely going to bring it to pass and i'm very excited uh for what the lord is about to do uh, in this month, even as it's coming to an end, I'm very excited to see what the end of February is going to hold because when God speaks a word, he does not lie and he surely brings it to pass. So blessings to all of you. I pray that uh, this was a blessing to you. Share the video with somebody else. Share the video with somebody that you know has been uh, hurt by church people or hurt by church folk or hurt in some type of way by somebody in some uh, leadership position. Share the video with somebody. Tag somebody who you know do not want to go to church because they say, man, them people over there, they did this and they did that and they did that to me. Tag this, tag, tag them in this video. And I assure you that it will not only bring healing, it will begin to bring deliverance. Amen. So blessings to all of you. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for um, um, supporting. Share the video with somebody. Hey, Chantel, how you doing? Um, share the video with somebody. Bless. Thanks to all of you. Thank you for sharing.